Hey, Laura Roder here. Today I want to show you two ways that I use the website Alexa.com. So this is a site that you may have heard me mention, but I haven't done an in-depth video on how you can use it for blogging and indirectly to promote your business. So a great way to use Alexa is to suss out opportunities for guest posting or being interviewed or being featured on other websites and blogs, which is incredibly important for creating fame, building your own reputation, and bringing in traffic to your site. So here's one way that I use Alexa. Let's say I'm looking for sites to guest post on or sites to pitch myself to to be featured or interviewed. You can do a search on Alexa, so I'm on the Alexa homepage right here, and let's say that I'm in the horse industry and I want to search for horse blogs. I can do a search on Alexa for horse blogs and it's going to give me a list with the top horse blogs and how they're ranked, how much traffic they have. Now I have to give the disclaimer, sometimes this list is, is not um, as targeted as just Googling something, but I still like to use it because it'll give you different results than Google usually will. Like, I don't know why CNN is on here, I don't know why CNN is on here, but it is a good tool for maybe discovering some different blogs than you would have discovered on Google. So that's one way I like to use it. Here's the second way that I probably use it a little more. Let's say, well, let's just use, let's just use this one.com, uh, horsebloggers.com. So let's say that uh, I'm looking for blogs to guest post on and I wanna guest post or be interviewed on the blog with the most traffic. Well, how do you know how much traffic a blog has? You can look it up on Alexa. So let's say that I wanna guest post on horsebloggers.com I put into Alexa, horsebloggers.com, this shows me the traffic rank. Now on Alexa, the lower the rank, the better. It's sort of like being a uh, best-selling book. You actually want to be the number one book, not the number five million book, right? The lower the number, the better. So sometimes you'll see a site like horsebloggers.com, you might think that was a really popular site, but this actually is a pretty poor Alexa rating. So what this means is that this is the 5.7-ish millionth most traffic website in the world. So basically there's 5.7 million sites that get more traffic than this one does. That's not very good. Uh, when I'm being featured, I like the site to be at least in the top 100,000 because that's how my site ranks. So if you look at my site, lauraroder.com, my rank is 38,000, it's a little higher in the US, it's 8,000. So my point of view is, well, if I'm gonna be featured, I want them to have at least as much traffic as me, if not more, right? So I'm looking for, so for me, I think, well, if it's in 100,000, that's sort of a ballpark for me. Of course, I want this number to be as low as possible. And this is not 100% accurate, it's not perfect, but this will give you a ballpark of how many visitors a site has. So definitely put alexa.com in your toolbox when you're being featured to see if it's worth your time.